Yeah, so you may say like some flirty stuff and it's just all out of just like just being nice like, oh, nigga, he, 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 and I'm really trying to turn you down, but I'm not trying to embarrass you, some type shit like that. And I guess he didn't get the memo, but, or even if he did, it didn't matter because that nigga was trying to shoot his motherfucker's shot, honey. That nigga was in that bitch, Steph Curry. And that motherfucker tried to shoot his goddamn shot. I don't know if he was Steph Curry because the nigga was missing like a motherfucker. But anyways, whatever basketball player that y'all can think of that shoot they shot and miss, <laughs> he was that nigga. So anyways, this nigga just sitting there. So basically... He studied sitting there naked, telling her to come on, come on, come on, come on. So, here's where it gets even more weirder. While everybody's trying to find out why the fuck he is naked or we're at the point where, okay, now we know why he's naked because he won't R2 come on in this bathroom, bedroom, car, wherever he was planning on taking her and let's get busy. We trying to get him to put his clothes on. How about... <laughs> How about my dude's cousin starts to drop his goddamn drawers too? So now we got two niggas naked. <laughs> now we have... Two niggas naked in the middle of a space game in a transitional housing apartment. And mind you, at the time, they didn't know that I was in a transitional housing program. I, they found that out later on after that. I got another story for you guys of how I got kicked out of the transitional housing program due to a explosive kickback that got out of hand. But that's another story. And whatever. So, but we got tuning sitting up here naked, ready for some action. And I was just like too blown away. I was appalled. I was like shocked. Like it was so many things that I felt within that moment. It was also funny as well. It was legendary. Cause it was like, uh, I don't give a fuck about these niggas in here. Now I told you I had dudes and women at this kickback. So he didn't give a fuck about the dudes seeing his little turtle. He didn't give a fuck about none of that. And neither did my ex cousin as well because he ended up getting butt naked. Well, he didn't get butt naked, but he did drop his drawers like, oh, shit, like, they all, what time it is, goddamn, it's motherfucking naked time, that's what he thought, I didn't know, <laughs> I was just, like, so confused within that moment, so, I mean, the story ended, basically, do end up putting his clothes back on. We eventually got him to put his clothes back on. My ex-cousin put his clothes back on with his shorts that he had dropped to the ground and whatever. And just, uh, we continued on to kick it throughout the night and whatever. And we was just talking about, like, dude, like, what made you really, like, get butt naked in front of everybody and he was confident with it himself he was like shoot i was ready she went about their life she went by their life she was talking all this stuff i guess he pulled her card like ladies be careful when we are talking to these dudes and what we say and how we say it because i believe men are slower than women so I don't know. He didn't, like, get the real picture. He didn't get that she was just trying to be nice. He was like, okay, boom. She told me. she Well, she didn't tell him anything, but she was flirting with me. So, shoot, I guess this is time for me to shoot my shot or whatever. So, it was just like, that, that was a funny legendary moment. Like, I, it was so, it was so funny. It, it, it was really, 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 really funny. Um, unfortunately, he did not get any from R. Unfortunately, he did not. <laughs> what ended up actually happening, and this is real tea, like, real, really, really, really. My dude 
me and my dude and R end up, you know, having our own little party and stuff. So he was upset by that. So I think he ended up leaving the kid back early or something because he didn't get no action. <laughs> so I guess me and my dude end up getting the action for him. And that was actually a great night. So... <laughs> Y'all like, share, comment below if you want to know more about how I got into a transitional housing program. There's another story with how I end up getting kicked out of that transitional housing program due to another explosive kickback. Or you just want to know more stories about my legendary kickback. You have to like, share, comment below and also subscribe hit that button to subscribe. I am so excited to share these um, stories with you guys. Um, some of my stories are not all messy. I have some uplifting stories. I have some downlifting stories. I have some funny stories. I got some legendary stories. I got all the stories that you need. So um, if you want to know more definitely tune in and subscribe because I will be dropping videos every week every week i'm going to be dropping a story time and specifically it'll most likely be on fridays and it's going to be britney's story time britney's story time britney's story time so definitely y'all tune in and stay tuned to some more explosive stories that i can um share with you guys also, I want you guys to go and click on that link below. BGDJYN and M Superstore. They have pillows, jewelry, shoes, shirts, some custom items in there that you guys will be interested in. So make sure y'all go check out that link and check out that store. BGDJYN and M Superstore. Until next time, you guys, on our next explosive story.